Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk. Hey, man, you on Boss Talk 101, man. It's your first time on, man. What do you think about it? You been watching our moves, yeah. what we've been doing. You know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna lie. I, had, I like what y'all got going. Like, Thank you. I like how you come. You know what I'm saying? I just seen, I seen, Um, I had a drive here, so. Yeah. I seen, like, you had a, uh, uh, the niggas on here arguing oh, and shit. Oh, yeah. We you had, had a the, bunch the gang of gang bangers yeah, and shit yeah, on here arguing. Yeah. I'm going to so, make it saucy. I'll bring four niggas up to the table so, going so, down. So I was like, damn, I like how, how big, big Dog handling that yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because at the end of the day, what I peep was throughout anything that you got going on, rather it's them or whoever you interviewing, you don't get in the mix. You kind of let us run off at our lips, you yeah, know what I mean? Yeah. And then if you got something to chime in, you chime in. Yeah, yeah. But you pretty much let niggas say whatever they want to say, though. Yeah, yeah. You ain't forcing this shit up out of niggas, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. But I fuck with it. Overall, y'all got a nice show. Thank you, man. Together, yeah, I mean a lot like, coming from you, I like man. how y'all feed off each other. I like how y'all got the camera set Thanks, up. Man. You know, like when you come in and see shit like this, that shit mean business. <laughs> yeah, so, shit Pete, gonna be big. Let me, let me give you a... Uh, let me get let me get y'all like fact. <laughs> let me get y'all uh this this this, this one game for y'all. And this ain't just for y'all. This for everybody. everybody yeah. you feel me and everybody watching. I told my partner the other day. He he DJ. Okay. And he was like, um, bro, they 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 to get on me hard. And I, yeah. I was like, all right, look. One key thing. He was like, give me some advice. I said one key thing. I say is take your time. Take your time setting up. Take your time. Yeah. You know what I'm saying. All right. So Pete, this will help too. If you know what I'm saying, I said take your time setting up. I don't know how or who, where I learned it. I could have just learned this myself because I know a lot myself. But I learned that if you take time with the setup, people feel like the shit more realer. Feel me? Yes. Okay. So saying it to say, first setup could be just the banners and cameras and all that. That's the setup. But I'm talking about the setup. As of have a nigga sit down, give him water, give him drink, the experience, hook up cameras, tell people from the back, hey, hey, bring that. You probably don't even need that. But the setup, if you make this, like I told my partner when he's setting up his DJ shit, don't talk to nobody. He's like, what you mean? I was like, don't talk to nobody. Be mean at that moment. He like, damn. But it, he tried. He said he tried it, and he said, "Bro, they love me, bro, cause they know I'm about business." And then I use the analogy, cause I like using analogies. I said, "Bro, analogy for what I'm telling you is like when Steve Urkel used to pour in his machine. He used to say, not while I'm pouring. <laughs> yeah. You gotta make it serious, mm -hmm. and then people know it's serious, yeah. so they respect it every time. That's like if somebody say, don't wear shoes in my house.'" Every time you pull up to their house, you know you got to kick them bitches off. Mm -hmm. You feel me? So it's like a start to be a, it's a thing like make it the setup big. Wow. That's why they do starting lineups. If you think about it, they oh, introduce yeah. the players in the line with the, it's a setup. You got to make it real. Now you paying attention. Psychological. Yeah. You feel me? Yeah. Like, so presentation. I like y'all set up. I like the presentation. That's I like all fun. that. You walk in. That's what the record labels do. Oh yeah, you walk in Def Jam, they'll be like, "Welcome, Sensi, my Leo. Welcome, Little Brook. Yeah, welcome, yeah. welcome, crazy. Boss Talk. Yeah. Welcome." You know it's what I'm crazy saying? Because like, we didn't get it from nobody, man. It's just when I did it, I just felt like I wanted to give y'all something, like the people mm -hmm. who've been working. Yeah. You know, we give out awards. I'm probably I done gave out probably 50 awards to different people. I mean, uh, from Carl Crawford, man, just giving out roses while you're here, man. For sure. We have big love, man. Appreciate it, appreciate it. Keep on pushing, man, for the appreciate South, for that. Texas. You I'm see what it going. is. 2021. Hey, man. Thank Happy you so birthday, much. Drugs, man. We say, it say, man, check it, man. We out here. <laughs> we giving <laughs> roses out while they're here. Platinum and gold hits after hits. 2022. Thank you. You're welcome. Wow, man. We passing out these roses while they here, man. Hard work and dedication in the National Football League, now becoming an exceptional mm. entrepreneur. I like that. Blessed to have witnessed your journey. Hey, thank you, thank man, you, thank man. You. We love you, man. Just trying to give you roses. Love too, man. To uh, uh, man, everybody. You, we did a lot of different wars. You've seen some of shows. Yeah. The yeah. rose, yeah. like because he got platinum album. Nobody, you know. I want to recognize people mm. for the things that they done done. Green paint job. Talented musician and entrepreneur. I appreciate that, man. Real man. talk. First of all, you know, uh, this is the first uh, black I ever got from a podcast. A podcast. So, so we first. Uh, yeah. Like you, it's people like y'all that mm -hmm. I, I'm thinking like when I get him back. So if I ever call you back, please come because I'm really trying to show pay pay my give my roses while. 
y'all y'all here. Okay. I gave Jock Taylor, who you know, be with Dion M, Dion yep. Sander. Yep. You've been with the Cowboys since '97. Service in the sports journalism industry, and we'd love to thank you because you did really, really, really good work. All right, well, I appreciate That's a good that. Movie, right? Yes. Thank you. Oh yeah, man. Jock Taylor, we giving them roses while they're here. Stuff like that. Like I've given. I've given a lot of awards out, man, because you guys deserve it, man. You know what I'm saying? Appreciate it. For you yeah. to do the things that you've done, the things that you've accomplished, man, I'd be crazy to do something like this and I bless you because that because at the end of the day, it means so much. Mike Jones, I gave him one. He was the most, I said, I told him, I say, you, i never seen nobody, you know, put themselves out there, give people their number, pretty much, uh, you know, what did I call it, baby? What did I call that award? Well, he was I, I, it, it was no, it was no, it was about him the way that marketing he genius. marketing genius mm. because of the way he was marketing at the time. It messed with mm. me. Hey, what up, what up, man? It's your boy Mike Jones. Who I said Mike Jones, Money Train, and y'all checking out Boss Talk One Hundred and One, man. Oh, that was when that I was looked deep. at that, I oh, yeah. said, bro, ain't nobody <laughs> smart. Said, you know what that nigga <laughs> that told deep. me? What? He said, he that said, ain't close. nobody <laughs> never listen. He said, ain't nobody never recognized me for that. What's so cold is too. I I called the number one time and talked to it him. It still works. Oh yeah, he said it's yeah, still on. He got it right now. He got it now. Right yeah, now. He said it's still oh, on. Damn, but I'm talking about back when back I was when a kid. Was going down. Like, I called him like probably in 06 or some shit. Like <laughs> he on 106 and that nigga answered. I was like, I ain't even know what to say to him. I was like, I probably said like one of them little kids or something. Like that. <laughs> hey, my God! <laughs> but, but, but to give him a listen, like, like, like he was, he, he was, answered that bitch though. I was like, damn, that's hard. That's this dope. nigga answered that. He did that. But I, I just seen. I, know he was hey, I just uh -huh. seen, man. I just seen I back. I just seen back then on 106, and this nigga answered. I'm like, damn, man, that's hard. Listen, man, when that's you think hard. about that, even the guy, I, that's one case because it's big. Yes. But think about the DJ that been DJing like uh, 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 K-Rock for 38 years and they never been recognized for it. Oh, that's and you real. seen that nigga standing here when we gave him that award and he yep. said, man, this is the first time anybody ever gave me anything. That's right. These are, that's that's what we do here. Because they say they, they, they came real. in the door doing that. They tell, hey, the joke is what they tell people like K-Rock, you got a uh, you got a uh, face for radio. Yeah, <laughs> you know that right? No, no, no that's, 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 that's what they say to people on the radio. Yeah, you know, do because they. I'm just saying that's kind of like you know you never see them. You yeah, that's never what I'm see saying. Them. So, but if, if, the, if DJs all throughout Dallas, I've done that with man and uh, Gator Man the other day. Yeah, I gave him award. Like it's certain ones, yeah. man, that you won't. You not. You never got your roses. I remember old boy Prince that did the stanky leg. That nigga stood right there. The one thing that nigga said when I gave him that award, he say, he say, man. Uh, he went back in his head. He said, on BET Awards, man, day 26, man, we was nominated for the award. He said, but he said, we didn't win. Day 26 won. But today I won on Boss Talk 101, and he put that award up. I said, boy, that's crazy. That's cold. Damn. I'm just telling you how, how I'm sitting back looking like, really? Like, but I just did it because I feel like it's something to recognize the people who've been grinding like this yeah. all this time. And they don't understand it. The, the white folks don't understand you no. niggas, man. No, you were right. just alive. You were right. That man was just living his life. He said it was God. Yeah, but no, that man, right. that man right. did a whole run with Dolph. Boy, say he. Yep. You know what I'm saying? That man was went fat, little fat. This nigga been. You didn't say move to a whole home. new city. This yeah. nigga bad, man. Yeah, I did. I did that like three, four times. Mm. It's like one of the things I just tell the youngsters, like, man, don't be scared. Mm -hmm. Go for what you know. It take a lot. And this shit gonna be scary. I was about to say, it take a lot to get <laughs> right. you know what I'm saying? to another like, city, bro. Man. Nigga, I was moving to Houston, and I moved here. I moved, I'm moving places. Like, yeah. And if the shit wasn't working out, nigga, I'm moving back home. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk.